Here we go. I've been waiting for this one. Hitman 3, Agent 47. In the world where we've been lied to, we've been given games that haven't been completed. Let's hope this one is eventful and not a complete fail. And Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows, behind the everyday world, beyond the headlines and the seats of power, a hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away. To do the unthinkable, the unforgivable. And it never gave us a second thought. Until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37, it's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth-generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming 
So Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. So looks like those are our two targets, Carl Ingram and Marcus Stuyvesant. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Here we go. Come in. 47, do you copy? Let's go. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Yo, this is a nice view. Get back to me when you're there. This is crazy. This game, this Hitman actually looks better graphically already than um, Hitman 2. And it has a lot more detail. And this, this like climbing this building makes me feel like like I'm really doing it myself. Like you get, you get that gut, that feeling in your gut when you're like on a, like a like when you're like high up on something. You get what I'm saying? We got a camera. This is new. Sweet. Let's get in here. Get the camera up first. I love these stealthy games. The inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. I'm just so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah, we got it, Jeffrey. Whatever your name is. <laughs> like, I'm already loving this game. Like It feels smoother. Way smoother than Hitman 2. More fluid. Nice. Got fresh. Coming out the curtain. I like that. Let me get that. Let me look at the intel. Welcome to the Scepter pamphlet. You guys can read that. The inauguration. Look at look at that. Like that is crazy amount of detail they got in this game. Like the graphics. Is, this is way better than Hitman 2. This is like a big upgrade in graphics. Let's sit here and listen to what this guy's saying. I am from one of the less privileged sides of the respectful Al Ghazali family. But with a small loan from my father, I soon built up a construction empire that was worthy of the great Al Ghazali legacy. So, I would like to thank my cousins, without whose friendship and influence this machine might not have been possible. Thank you. I'm proud to yet again immortalize our great family. But most importantly, this building is for all the people of Dubai, which is today the tallest building in the world. So I'm humbly proud to open the Burj Al Ghazali. That was a long speech. I just sat there and waited and I listened to him so you guys could kind of get a full feel of the mission. This is the first mission, so I didn't want to skip anything. So uh, I just decided to listen to him, let you guys hear it. 
now I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, eavesdrop on them and see uh, what we can hear. I love this game. This is why I always play games like this. Like, I've always been a huge fan of these type of games. I wish they would make a new Splinter Cell game, Ubisoft. Even though this isn't Ubisoft, but the games are kind of similar. Just keep an eye out. This is my day, not his, of course. Did you guys hear any of that? Was I talking too loud? Let's continue to follow him. So we can find a way to take this guy out. Well, we're not taking him out. Call me Omar. Well, Omar, it was an inspirational speech. You should be proud. Taking out In Ingram and the Stuyvesant guy. But I'm following him to see if I can get some intel on those two guys. 47. I would like to address the Providence partners directly. I want them to know why this is happening. And I have an idea, but it requires you finding a map terminal. Will do, Jeffrey. We got you. I don't know why I keep calling him Jeffrey. I wonder if they... I mean, it's so obvious they don't follow him. A really smart AI would have picked that up. Like, hey, why are you following us everywhere we go? I know that's something I would have said if I was one of his security guards. But it's just a game. But whatever. Let's continue. I'm going to go this way, though, because I don't know if they will get suspicious. I should have tested it out and see if I keep following so close with these notice me. But it looks like what we're looking for is right here. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. Let's read this here. Oh, that, that message is pretty much saying the same thing that he just said. So we can continue. He sounds really pissed. Like he really wants to get back at these guys, or whoever it is we're killing. Well, we know who we're killing, but he just really wants to get back at these guys. It sounds like you can hear it in his voice tone. Let's read this. I like to look at the intel. The artist, you guys can read that. I'll keep it up there for a little bit. Then let's continue on. Yo, 47 is sharp. I need to find his tailor. I need I need to give me a suit like this. Minus the bald head and the uh, barcode on the back of the head. But the suit, that's an A-plus right there. Let's look around, see if we see anybody before we touch this door. I don't see anyone. There's a Let's keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. There's a guard right over there, but he can't see what we've done. All right, try this. 4706. 4706. Bingo. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. Here we you go. Ready for some more fresh air, 47? I can see on the map that there's two people around that corner. I'm gonna press this vacuum right here. Let me hide. <laughs> this game is so cool to me. I don't hit women, but I'll choke you. Let's take her out. And of course, we're going to take the uniform. I can't get the uniform. I thought I could take it when I put her in the locker. Let's see if I can get in and take it. Nope. No option. Wow. I thought I could take the uniform when I put her inside the locker. I guess not. Let's take this guy. I wanted that uniform, but I'll take this one right here. 
event planner or event staff. Yeah, got the nice gold vest on. Looking sharp, 47. Looking sharp. Let me put him in here, too. Let me grab those scissors. Might come in handy. That guard with the dot over his head is going to notice me, so... Let's get out his line of sight. Luckily, he went the other way. We can walk past this guy. He won't notice us. So he won't think anything suspicious. I think I can open that window. He's going to notice me, too. Scan the lock with your camera, and I'll have a try. Let's get the camera out. Scan the lock, like you said. Bingo. Got the window open. Seems as if it distracted them a little bit. I like the AI in this game. Like the way they just notice stuff is really interesting. I'm gonna wait and see if he leaves. I'll have to take him out. Oh yeah, he's leaving. Perfect. We need to have to kill him or put him to sleep. Let's get out of here and see what's going on. Let's go to this. What's this? I don't know what this thing is called. Whatever, it's the thing to help you. It's like a. It's like an elevator for the outside. It helps you clean the windows. <laughs> I know I sound like an idiot, but I don't know what it's called or whatever it is. But let's go. Fast forward because I got lost over there. I didn't know how to get over here, but we're good. The fact that none of those people see me climbing this building is very funny. Because <laughs> if I was on the other side, I would have saw me. Like, that's crazy. But I guess when you when you have money and you're partying up, partying get up, you don't really notice things. So let's go. Let's get in here. Server room should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. I just want to wait a little bit and see if he comes back. I'm just trying to learn his routine. That's the thing about this game. Learning routines is key. Let's press this. Oh! <laughs> Body found. Okay, who did I take out? Where was this guy? I should have never grabbed that. Hopefully, it doesn't raise too many alarms. That guy's going to notice me if I walk out. So, we got to tread carefully over here. Blend again as the staff won't do anything because he's so far away anyway. Now, if it was someone over here, then that would be different. He's moving again, so let us move too. Uh, let's try this door. Bathroom, nothing. That camera, there's a camera up there. Those You see those green lasers on the floor back there? That was a camera. Storage. Uh, someone's right there. Maintenance. He'll notice me. Let's take him out. I'm trying not to kill anyone that's not the targets. I want to do clean run throughs. I really don't want to get spotted or set off any alarm, so. Let's put him in there. We took his uniform. We didn't mess up like last time. That's a flaw. They should let us take the uniform once we put them in a locker or stuff the body somewhere. I don't know why they didn't think of that or put that in the game. Maybe it is in a game and I just don't know how to do it. I don't know, but we ain't here now. Let's close that door. We don't want anybody to see us doing this. Hmm, a calendar function. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I think you need to pull one of the racks here to gain access to the terminal. If you ain't sure, then why you got me pulling the racks to the terminal, man? I'm no hacker, but I'm not sure. Let's see what this do. Fail. Oh, damn it. A silent alarm has been triggered. You think? Security is on its way. Hide, 47. 
Oh, I'm hiding. Oh no, the doors are locked. All right, uh, let's just post up right here and hope no one sees us. I can't believe this dude had us hacking stuff and he didn't know what he was doing. Just had us going on the fly. Wow. Don't come over here, don't come over here. I don't want to get violent. You need more violent than I have been. And of course it's all fine here. Oh, I hate this system already. I like that. I like how they have it scripted. <laughs> Yes, sorry about that, 47. You Let's should be sorry. try again, shall we? I don't know if I want to try again. I don't Everything really trust you. It. We'll need a key card to gain access. Someone in maintenance should have one we can borrow for a spell. I am maintenance. That guy didn't have a card on him when I took it. His outfit. Hey, it's me. She's going to recognize me. Let's see if we can just yeah. walk past her smooth. It was an insane idea to start with. Exploding golf ball. I don't want blood on my hands. She seems to be having like some type of some type of issue with her lover or whoever. Boyfriend. Let's take him out. Let's hide him. Don't need his uniform, not the same uniform, just need his key card. Let's go. And people tend to stay out of that room anyways. So no one will get hurt. Like she's too busy yapping at the gums, caking on the phone that she doesn't even see me walking past. Let's look at the terminal again. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Uh, oh, swipe the key card. Well, that must have done something. Can you see anything different in the room? No. This is different. So I hope Good. that's working. We're in. Oh yeah, now that all worked. All you need to do is access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Good work. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. Cool. Looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Building cameras are now disabled. I'm gonna disable the cameras Excellent. just like that. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. I'm gonna deposit the emergency funds too. Look at all them gold bars. The cameras are showing a lot of guards up here. And I'm gonna open the elevator doors. I'm messing up all this stuff. Elevator doors are now open. They should be suspicious. Like, who's doing all this? I mean, unless they're monitoring. If they're not. They should be monitoring that stuff. You would think that they would be monitoring it, but. Guess not. Let's go. Look at that guy. Let's disguise himself as a penthouse guard. He didn't see me. I thought for sure he was gonna see me when he turned around. He turned around as soon as I walked up on him. Crazy. Let's take him back into the storage room. We can dump him in the locker with the other maintenance guy. But first, let's disguise ourselves. Put him in the locker. Sorry about this, buddy. It's so not. Look at that guy right there. I just want to remind you about the uh, lockdown. He yapping too. He don't see nothing going on. He yapping. They hired the worst guards. We have to infiltrate the penthouse floor. So, oh, somebody sees me. Oh, I, I didn't even see him right there. Wow. <laughs> I didn't see him at all. Let's keep it going. He ain't gonna notice us, so we can walk past him and nothing's gonna happen. He's not gonna try to check us out and say, oh, hey, who are you? I'm gonna stand here like a statue, like I'm really guarding something. Look, he looking like this guy here. The partners are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, use it to start the show. And that guy in here is sleep. Look at him. Sleep. They got the worst security guards, bro. Like, they 
Really on the job slacking. What's going on? I hear that dude walking. Where is he? Where did he go? What the? When did he get in there? He must have walked. There must be another door on the other side. I did not see him. Anyway, let's keep it going. There has to be another way up to the penthouse. I, I think the other way was the way, but it should be a way back here. I remember an elevator being back here. Let's see. Uh, if I get the elevator, what's this? Penthouse stab. Let's see what's in here. That car came in handy. But 47 is a G. He just walks up, straight walking, don't care. Kicking ass, taking names. That guy. He can notice us. So we're gonna go in here real quick. That worked. I'm not gonna touch him. We need to take out any extra people. I wish I had my pistols on me though. Let's go upstairs, find the lounge. So we're close to the two targets. So the meeting was to get those two together so we can easily take them out. Okay, that must be the lounge down there where they are, so. I mean, I technically found it, so that should have been updated, but I guess we have to actually be in the lounge, because you're not really in the lounge, you're like above it, so. We don't have keys to that room. Dang. Now, let's keep going. There's stairs right there. That guard that was in here walked over there, thank God, so let's keep going. I have to waste time trying to get past him. He's looking like, who are you? But he won't question my authority because the uniform says it all. I'm important, boy. Surely we can give him a few moments. Do you know Grab what his he knife. Talk about? Cutting up limes. Oh, interesting. Now they're scared. What's going on? Carl, did you do that? I certainly did not. Kitchen knife. I wonder if they still got the option to throw the knives and stuff. Yep. Here we go. One down. Scissors. Two down. He tried to make a run for it, but he wasn't having it. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Wow, that was an easy one. Soon be no more than a bad memory. Uh, how do we get out of here? We... Thank you. Seems like the only way to get out of here is to open the these gates. On the edge of town. Let's hide their bodies. Ah, right, and here's a perfect spot. Let me get my knife back, guy. Thank you. That's a souvenir. So we drag him. We should be able to put two bodies in this bin if it's just like Hitman 2. Yes. I think we can. Yep, we're good. So the bodies are hidden. Press the button. And we are Gucci. We're getting out of here. He don't notice me. He don't know who I am. He doesn't notice me. They don't know that their two bosses that we're meeting have met their fate. And I sent them on the stairway to heaven. Or hell, whatever one they're going to go to. I don't know. But all I know is that we're getting out of here. We're going to keep it cool. Don't raise no attention. For all I know, I'm going on break and I want to get some fresh air. And that is it. That's the exit. I should play golf a little bit, but I don't have time, guys. That's the first episode. That's mission one. Did you guys enjoy it? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video because it will help me grow the channel. So... I'll, I will appreciate it greatly if you guys like and subscribe here. Thank you guys.